Hi church, happy Friday. Welcome to today's digital devotion. So we were thinking back a couple weeks ago, what were things that happened, things that we jotted on our calendar or things that are in our planners. And I came across a note that July 6th was the birthday of the Dalai Lama in 1935. And he is such an amazing person and figure. And one of the quotes that he said that I love is that my religion is kindness. And he also said, um, practice kindness whenever possible and kindness is always possible. And I just love thinking about those things when I think about the Dalai Lama because I think that's such a great reminder that as Christians, sometimes we let our faith complicate you know, our thoughts or our actions. We make it a complicated thing. We think about all of our theology. And for a lot of us, that's really important to have you know, theological reasons for how we live our lives. But I also think at, at its core, the teachings of Jesus and the, the reasons that we have a faith are all about just being able, being able to manifest kindness in our lives and in our actions. And I love that idea that, you know, practice it whenever it's possible and also it's always possible. Mm. I think that's a good reminder to me because, you know, sometimes it feels very much like you have a choice in a moment whether to be kind or not. And it is just that. It is a choice always. And I think we just have to keep prompting ourselves and practicing getting good at being kind. It's easy to choose the other path and say or do something that's unkind, but it is always possible if we, and I think practice makes us better at things like that. Yeah, I, I know a lot of people in the church have talked to us about how much they love the Book of Joy, which was co-written oh, by yeah. the yes, Dalai Lama right. and um, by Desmond Tutu. And it is an incredible book. Such and, a good book. Yeah, and so that's kind of another aspect of the faith. When we try to complicate things at its core is this ability to find joy. And so often we think that kindness is opposed to something like justice, that if you're searching for justice, then that makes it so that you can't be kindness and you have to set mm. kindness aside. Or when life, uh, when you're pursuing joy, it means you have to ignore the really hard parts of life. And neither of those are true. And not to complicate things here, but because I, I do think it's really simple that we, we choose kindness. But at the same time, when we're choosing kindness, it does mean that we can still stand for justice. We stand for justice in moments when we see the world acting in unkind ways, mm -hmm. when we see the world acting in horrific ways. We make a stand and say, this is not the path of kindness, and I can still treat you even when we disagree mm -hmm. um, with humanity. I can still see the humanity within you, but I can still take a stand for justice. Mm -hmm. I can still take a stand because I'm trying to promote kindness in the world. Does that make sense? Yeah, I think it does. Yeah, and it's the same thing with joy. Um, we don't have to disregard <laughs> the fact, excuse you. We don't have to disregard the fact that um, the world can be a heartless, cruel, terrible place and like yeah. awful things happen. Yeah. And we can name those horrible moments and call them for what they are and at the same time declare that joy has more power than yeah. than what horrible things are taking place and that they can't rob us of our joy and that we will still persist despite the hardships of life. Mm -hmm. um, so there's nuances there. I don't think it complicates it. I think I at think the, the heart it. of our religion is still love and joy yeah. and kindness. Yeah. So I love that quote. My religion is so, simple. Yeah, I know some of us, um, myself included, to be honest, sometimes have trouble identifying ourselves as Christians in today's world because that term has become so loaded and so um, fragmented with the different camps of Christianity and the different brands of Christianity that are out in the world today, specifically in our country. Um, but I think we can always all agree that we practice the religion of kindness when we practice the religion and the teaching of Jesus. Yeah, absolutely. And so I really like that going forward, that um, our religion is Christianity, but it is also kindness. And that's how we live it out. And we're going to have some great mission opportunities for you to practice living out kindness coming up. Yeah. Including Kitchen Kindness. Yep, which coming, is coming up in up. August. In August, August and also 18th. August 4th, we're going to have blankets and brunch, where we're going to be making blankets together at Brunch Church. So stay tuned for some fun opportunities to get involved in practicing our kindness. Awesome. We'll see we'll you in see worship. You in worship.